everyone. Today I wanted to share my Anime Expo slash July haul. Um, I thought I didn't get too many things in July, so I, I'd go ahead and show my Anime Expo stuff as well, but then I forgot how many posters I got, so this actually may be a bit of a long video. If it's too long, then I'll probably just put pictures of the posters at the end, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the things I didn't get from AmiAmi. I believe I got this from Play Asia, and it went on an awesome sale. I think it was $65. So I went ahead and did that. I think I spent $67 total or something. So that was really, really a good deal. And I'm just glad to have green slash Gary in my collection. I still am not sure if I'm keeping red. I already have the championship version red. So we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of tempted to keep him just because he's so adorable as well. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> This also came in. They are Sailor Jupiter glasses, and I love this case. It's so, so gorgeous. Like, look at the details on the case. I hope this is focusing, but it's so beautiful, and I'm just so upset that the glasses that come with it aren't the kind of glasses that I like wearing. I like wearing the, t the type that are just the frames. They don't have like that little, um, some of them have like a little plastic part under it to, to help keep it on the bridge of your nose and I honestly don't like those very much because they fall off and they're just kind of annoying so I'm sad that those are the type of glasses these are so uh, I'm tempted to keep the case and just sell the glasses but we'll see what happens I might just sell all of it um, I don't know I'm, I'm just kind of bummed I should have noticed that in the promotional pictures but I guess I didn't pay attention oh these things actually I got in June but I forgot to show them in my June haul just because I didn't get them for myself, I got them for Diederik, my doll. And this is a Finding Dory, like, cars, motor thing, Disney cars. I thought it was really cute and I wanted him to have some, like, Hot Wheels and that sort of thing, but he is a one, um, one six scale doll and it's kind of going to be hard for me to find something that's, like, you know, Hot Wheels size for him. So I decided just to get him, like, the bigger cars that kids play with as well. I also want to get him Legos, but we'll see. Um, I might just get him regular uh, Legos and have have them be like those big blocks that children play with. I also got him this, and it's just a Yoshi Amiibo. It was super cheap, I think 500 yen, so I went for it. I kind of regret not getting the pink one as well for William, but uh, it's really cute. I am not really an Amiibo collector, but I, I thought that one was really cute. All right, so. This is the Ami Ami haul I got, and I generally just take them out of the box already, but I thought this was interesting. So it has the fable, you know, the oh, ever present Ami Ami paper on top, but then the sides here aren't actually Ami Ami paper, they're like bubble wrap. I haven't seen that before with Ami Ami orders. It's always like tons and tons of paper. Um, I don't know if they're trying to like reduce the sizes of boxes or like the cost of shipping, and that's why they did that or if it's just something out with, with this particular order. But there's a new Ami Ami card. It's not my favorite so far. It's all right. Like it's cute, but I like the other designs a lot better. I don't know how long we're gonna keep this one for. It looks like it's the summer thing, which is crazy because it's almost the end of summer. So um, I just hope we get a very pretty like October one. I don't know how long this one's staying because I want Halloween. The thing on top is my this is the Love Super Lovers placemats. I'm getting like all the Super Lovers items that I can because I all missed, up, missed out on all the Love Stage stuff that came out. So yeah, I'm like compensating it with Super Lovers merchandise. I haven't take this, taken this out yet. Um, I'm probably gonna just put it on where my desk is, my computer desk. Cause I can't really think of anywhere else I'd put a placemat. It's not very thick. Oh, it looks like it's just cloth. It's not even like, you know, placemats have that rubber texture on the back. It's a very pretty design. Yeah, it's just gonna sit on my desk. So, I don't know, it's cute. And I want all the BL stuff. <laughs> okay, now for the figures. I only got three figures uh, from my Ami Ami haul. And first one was, was, of course, Kenma. I had to get Kenma. I'm getting all the Haikyuu boys that have been announced so far. 
I was so stoked. Uh, Iwa Chang was announced, so Oikawa won't be alone anymore. And my two uh, little owls were announced. I'm <laughs> just so, so excited about that. And of course, Kenma's hubby was announced, and I'm gonna get him as well. Um, I might do an unboxing for him. I'm just very happy. He comes with really pretty facial expressions, and he, of course, comes with a game, you know. Wouldn't be Kenma if he didn't. So I'm just really glad they paid attention to that detail. I got this, another sword boy. I still don't play the game because there are such beautiful skills for this out there. And I know if I start playing the game and start liking the characters more, I'm gonna end up buying some skills. Like I'm already super tempted. There's this uh, like fox guy with a mask and I want him so badly. But I keep telling myself, no, there are other figures from series you actually know out there. So I'm, I'm just getting most of the Nendroids. Um, I love this guy, though. I, and I got him mostly because he reminds me of Kitikata Toshiro from Gintama. So, I don't know, he's really cool looking. My big figure of the month was, of course, Psyche from Dudarara. And I am really, really hoping that we get Sugaru, Delic, and Hibaya as well because we're getting, you know, Psyche, which is one of um, Izaya's alternative versions. And I love this box. I really love the clear boxes that Alter has been, you know, putting out. If ever I were to display a figure in the box, I'm an out of box collector myself, but. If I were, this would be one of the ones I, you know, displayed within the box because it's just so stunning, even just in the box already. And you can see everything, you know, it's such a, it's, I love these clear boxes. They're just so wonderful. So you can look at the back of the figure, you know, the front of it, and here's the top. Yeah, I love this figure. Um, they did such a great job. Give me Delic, give me Sugaru, and give me Hibaya. Please alter, I will buy them from you, I promise. So yeah, and seriously though, look at, like, there's no more paper. Well, there's paper at the bottom of it for padding, but that, that's just so interesting to me. I, I'm gonna take a look at other people's July hauls and see if they had a similar experience, or maybe um, August they will do the same thing. But anyway, let's move on to my Anime Expo haul. I don't generally buy a lot of merchandise um, from Anime Expo. All I really buy are Artist Alley things and that sort of thing because I know I can find most figures cheaper online. But I did go visit the Chera Gooing booth where, you know, Volks has their stuff. And I picked up a few figures from there. I picked up Lena Inverse from Slayers. This is a kit, so there are there is some painting required, but the main pieces are already pre-painted so that's a little easier than just a gk a regular gk um they're also releasing zogadis and amelia in her regular you know um outfit and yeah i'm really looking forward to zogadis so badly because i want a zogadis figure i've wanted a zogadis figure for so long i already have a gallery cherubuming figure and lena you know dressed in her regular outfit so Really, really looking forward to that. To having all of the Slayer people. I haven't painted the other ones I have, by the way, but I will get these painted. I might do a video about it if anyone's really interested. I also got, of course, Amelia. Why would I get Lena if I didn't get Amelia as well in this outfit? And she's really cute. I love Amelia. She's uh, one of my favorite characters from the series. I think um, Zolgoddess and Amelia are probably my favorite characters just because she's so silly. So yeah, I got her. I was I was thinking of getting them or getting Lena's big sister, um, because Lena's big sister was like two hundred bucks, and I think each of these were eighty four dollars or something like that. So I decided to go with two figures uh, instead of one. And I, I don't know, uh, if only she wasn't so expensive, I would have gotten her as well because I love that figure. But anyway, um, let's see. This is something I didn't pick up in Artist Alley. It's just um like a bag, like one of the booths had, and it was for a uh, mystery bag, but I asked them if I can buy this by itself, and they said yes, and it was like five bucks, but I had to have it. Look how cute this is. They also had really cute like shirts and things like that, but the shirts were a little pricey. Well, no, they weren't too pricey, but I'd rather get other things, so I didn't get them. Oh, and for going to Anime Expo this year, you got this. 
bag. It's a parasite bag. Um, I think it's super cool that we got, you know, just a bag like that. They also had some other bags uh, that they were giving out, but I guess they were sold out by the day I came and that was, um, or they just didn't have any more. I attended three days this year, the last three days. Like they had a country roll drawstring bag and stuff and I didn't get that stuff uh, when I went, but oh well, that's fine. Um, Crunchyroll was also giving out bags if you, you know, if you have a membership or you sign up there. I got the dessert bag, you were only allowed to get one, but I guess you could have made like a fake account or something with a new email address and got another one the next day. Uh, I didn't do that. I was like thinking about getting the dessert bag or the free bag. I ended up getting berserk because um, this is harder to find berserk stuff and I can just find a print of that free, like the bag they use for the, um, the print they use for the free bag, um, pretty much anywhere, so I decided to go with Berserk, and it's really cool, I love the bag, it's so awesome, these are kind of things that I hang up, I did my best to preserve it, like I only put posters in it, um, I had a Persona 5 bag last year that fell apart because I put heavier things in it, so I was really cautious with this one, and I'll do the keychains first because, uh, Man, those posters. Man, those posters. <laughs> okay, so I got quite a few keychains. Um, I regret not putting the business cards inside of the keychain bags, right? Or like taking pictures with um, the posters I bought and the business card that I got because now they're all mixed up. But um, I saw a lot of cool uh, keychains this year. A lot of them were double-sided, which is super awesome. And this is Natsume from Nats um, Natsume's Book of Friends and I thought he was really cute. Noragami. And did I show you Kina's back? And then Yato, of course. These are super cute. I wonder how they make them. Like it might be, um. They have those shrinky dinks things. I don't know if they'd use that though. They're really cool though. Anyway, I got some JoJo stuff because who wouldn't? <laughs> oh, this is my favorite ones because I love Caesar and Joseph the best. Just as my favorite JoJo. These aren't double sided, so it's just this side. This was the more expensive one because it came with two uh, like keychains on it, really. And then I just got some from um, Stardust Crusaders as well. I haven't finished Stardust Crusaders yet. I only watched the first part, um, so I need to watch the second season. I know something sad's gonna happen though, so I'm like putting it off. <laughs> okay. I also got some stickers because it was like a buck and you got three of them, I think it was. So I got our four. Yeah, I think it was four. Okay, I gave one to my friend. This is, of course, from Tyrant Falls in Love or Koifuru Bokun, which I was surprised to actually see stuff from it. Had, they had Kenma. And Kuro, of course. They got Kenma. Um, I'm always super stoked to see Big Wind Up stuff at cons because Big Wind Up is my favorite sports anime of all time. Um, I don't know if it's going to remain that way because Days came out and football has been my favorite sport you know, in the world and Days is amazing and I have so many children <laughs> that I love in it. So It has um, a little like protective plastic on the front, that's why it was dusty. I haven't taken it out yet. I need to put this in my um, shadow box before I do that. Oh, and I got this uh, like little keychain for free from a P Professor Oak cosplayer. So that was really cool. All right, so let's move on to the posters. And I'll try to go a little fast with these. Hopefully you get good images. This one I got for my big sister. And I always try to get the artist to sign posters when I can because uh, you know it's really nice to have that signature when you can get it. Hopefully I can match them up and find out who, who did what. But I got these two posters for my sister, Witch Hunter Robin, Legend of Korra. Uh, someone had some big wind up posters, so I got them, Abbott and Mihachi. 
and it's just the backs of them, but I think that's really neat. Um, and so they're really nice on my wall. I don't know if there's, oh yeah, there's more in here, okay. So with this poster, um, I guess the artist said that not many people bought it. I felt kind of bad though, because I think the person that was standing next to me while I was looking at stuff might have taken my money. I put some money down for this poster, and I ended up having to pay for it twice because I just put the money on the table and left. And the artist was like, wait, did you give me money? And I'm like, yeah, I left it on the table. And then of course, uh, the money wasn't there. So I think the person that was looking at stuff with me must have taken it. And I paid for this twice, but whatever. Um, it's a nice poster. I like how to mess it a lot. It was just a little like, you know, unnerving that that happened. Sorry, my uh, camera cut off. So that's why there's the strange transition, but I got this poster and um, I don't know, it's my second year getting actually Uezumi and Oikawa, you know, cross-dressing as a poster, but I guess I dig it. <laughs> and this is Kisei and Kasamatsu from Gofo no Basket. And this is really cute. I don't find a lot of like posters of them, so I was really happy. Oh, another Iwachan and um, Oikawa. The artist had really pretty stuff. Is this something I chose? Not yet. Okay. Sorry, I'm all all over the place. So this I thought was a beautiful poster, and I love the quality of it, like the kind of paper they use. Um, of course, this is Joseph and Caesar from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's such a nice print, and I love it. I got this poster for free. Um, they were like showing the game, so I decided to pick it up. You have to do like a JoJo pose and mine was super lame. Yeah. I met someone that I uh, know from my figure collection and he gave me this. He got it because he was a premiere, um, I think what it's called, like a premiere, um, he had a premiere pass. And they were giving those out, I suppose. This was only five bucks because it was on the last day and the, the girl was trying to get rid of all her stuff, you know, the last 30 minutes of the convention. And it's a beautiful, beautiful poster. She didn't have any like markers and obviously she was trying to get rid of everything so I didn't get it signed, which is disappointing, but I love the print really much. Oh, of course I have to get some awesome lots of stuff. And I thought this was really cute and I like the colorful, you know, images on it. And of course, Karamatsu is like being bullied, so I like that print. <laughs> I asked the person to sign it, and I guess a lot of people didn't ask her because she was like, oh really? And she just put like a little tiny signature in the corner of it, the picture. So that was funny. This is Kaito Kid from Detective Conan. He also has his own series. Oh, I got Hidichi as well. Like it's part of the set. I wish that there were some Taga Takagi pictures because he's my favorite Detective Conan character, but no one loves Takagi. I got this signed by the um, mangaka who does Sakamoto. Uh, we waited in line at uh, which booth was it? Um, Sentai? Yeah, it was Sentai. And they were giving out this poster for free. You can also buy a poster, but I thought this one was actually nicer, so I just got the free one. Oh, and I was so pleased to see this. I love Princess Tutu and I love Fakir. So this print was so stunning and I'm glad I was able to find it. A Norigami, of course, um, prints. And I'm glad I found some Norigami stuff. I think this is really pretty. I love Hayato and Yuki one. Um, Haikyuu, this is like all Nekoma, and this is really cute. I actually saw a group of Nekoma cosplayers, and uh, they were doing that pose in the picture I took of them, so I like um, that poster. Some Kintama, I just thought it was neat. I really love Hijigen, so <laughs> I went, opted for this picture. Oh, this is like 
Phyllis and Leslie Brothers, you know, dressed up as characters, like cosplaying. I thought it was really cute. <laughs> Princess Jellyfish Prince. It's super cute as well. I like Princess Jellyfish a lot. I actually think that's all I got. That didn't take too long. I got some other prints as well, but they're with my friend. He, they'd had the whole, like, you know, buy some, uh, buy some posters, get a poster free thing going on. So uh, whenever there was, a, you know, he wasn't sure what, what to get himself, he, he asked me, oh, do you want anything from here? We did the same thing with each other, so. That's just a good way, you know, always go with a friend if you can because you get deals. Anyway, that is all I got um, this time around. I think this is a little longer than I anticipated, but I guess that's good. I'll put some uh, clips that I took at Anime Expo. It was mostly a figure things, but I saw some Pokemon creators as well, and I thought that was really cute. Like, uh, they had puppets, and I'll, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, have a good day, everyone. Goodbye!